hello everyone uh, it is uh, that part where we have studied uh, the eccentrically loaded uh, riveted joint now we are going to solve uh, a numerical problem on it where we are exactly taking this 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 four events as we have seen in the design procedure for it you can see the question has been given as a steel plate of 8 mm thickness is subjected to a force of 5 kN and fixed to a vertical channel by means of four identical rivets as shown in the figure in this figure here. So the river the rivets are made up of plain carbon steel and L strand of 220 newton per mm square if the factor of safety that is force equal to 2 determine the diameter of the rivets assume um, syt uh, in compression is it is nothing but uh, it is now uh, ill stress that is s y t is nothing but the ill stress sigma y t In compression, it becomes means uh, sorry S Y C is 1.3 times the S Y D we see. In compression, it's 30 percent more than the L strength. Okay. So we'll proceed first. Just made it. Yes, so we are back. Uh, we will be solving it uh, in a fresh new page. Uh, hope that will be not a problem. And uh, at any point of time, you can uh, rewind the video and you can check the question, the data which I have made this kind of boxes for easy understanding. So we are going to our next page in our case so we have to first find out the primary shear forces right in the previous videos we have seen that um, ps1 will be equal to ps2 ps3 ps4 but P1 and right that will be equal P4. Since we have four limits, this one PS1, PS2, PS2, and PS4. It's P by uh, four. Sorry, we'll directly uh, take the values of P. The value of P is five unit kilonewton. That is. 5000 by 4 which becomes 1 2 5 0 Newton you can say it is first step in our design of this problem second we find you know shear sorry uh, so yeah secondary shear for sale secondary shear forces so Initial is nothing but FS1, FS2, FS3, and FS4. So if we draw the diagram, let's suppose this is our, our, this is our center of gravity for this four. This four rivets. And these are some distance which we take as uh, suppose R1, R2, R suppose R1. Uh, let me uh, do it anticlockwise, not because I should or it should be anticlockwise. Okay, 
active in your in the way you like. I have taken R1, R2, R3, R4. Okay. Uh, we will show you the the primary forces with the red color like that. First, the main force will be coming here, right? So it will be shared by each of them. As we have studied earlier, so it will be nothing but P by 4, P by 4, P by 4, and P by 4, isn't it? And our to uh, so uh, the, to find out the secondary shear force, let's suppose we are considering a green color. Let's take this here. So, in our case, we have seen in this way it will be like perpendicular, yes, in the perpendicular motion. If it is, uh, let's suppose. In this way, we are taking. Why we are taking in clockwise direction? You can see it's all in clockwise because we are considering the moment due to the distance eccentricity m. That is, m equal to uh, m equal to p into p, where m is equal to p is over 5000 mm into Eccentricity, if you see, it is equal to 100. If you see, uh, look in back to your quotient, the diagram that is a figure, it is 100. Uh, no, it's 200 plus 100 by 2. It's actually, this is the coordinate for the CG. You can find out using that x bar and y bar that will be our cg so it's 200 plus 50 and all right now if in case you are in doubt you can follow the quotient the figure so this will be our fs1 fs2 fs3 fs4 isn't it? And this thing is our CG. Isn't it? Okay. So we have seen the red color the shared primary shear forces and the green colors are the secondary shear forces due to the turning moment and equal to P. Okay. So as we have already found out that P equal to A is nothing P equal to E is nothing but K into R1 square, R2 square, R3 square, R square, okay? okay R4 square. Isn't it? Now, you have seen in the other videos that a minus thing is coming here. But in case, in this case, we will consider the positive we have done nothing, just we will reverse all these directions in, in just the opposite directions. As our diagram is quite like that right now. If we consider this one, right, quite like that. It will just take the other way. Uh, let me draw somewhere clearly. Yes. What will be happening here is that to men to counter this uh, negative F into positive, this will be our P by 4. And it will go in this direction that is our P is 4. Okay. So, um, and our entire diagram will be changing just it is nothing just we are changing the direction of the uh, forces secondary and the primary forces 
in the opposite direction to counter this uh, negative because if you found out it becomes negative when you finally uh, sort out the entire thing so uh, let's take uh, black or red okay or empty sorry Is happening. Oh, yes. um, next, uh, this P we know that, right? It's nothing but five hundred into E. And this k we have to find out r1. We can find out the r. As you can see, one thing uh, this r can be easily found out. So if we draw this line, okay. this distance is actually been given. This distance and this distance. Okay. and this distance and this distance is already been okay. if you can see it's from nothing but fifty and this distance is nothing but fifty so we can actually find out uh, how to find out see if we see it's R2 it's 50, it's 50. So R2 can be used using the Pythagoras theorem, right? That is 50 squared plus 50 squared. Mm -hmm. Approximately 70.71 m. Or R2 becomes 30. Okay? Okay. So in this case, if this all the R are same because the distance, this distance, this distance, and this distance, these are all same. It's like 50, then 50, then here 50. All are same. It's 50 into 50. Into, it's 50 plus 50 plus 50. And if you see the diode, you will understand. So this will be nothing but since. The four values are same. We will be taking four into four into seventy point seven one square. We found the value of e. That is nothing but five hundred. So five thousand into two fifty square to k. If we multiply by this. Keep it in this way. We multiply all together. If we sort out the equation, it becomes 62.5 Newton per m square. This more get down the value of um, the value of um, this thing R2 or the value of all the R and the value of K. Next, uh, if you see um, our this angle is theta. So if you want to find theta, it's the inverse of uh, the inverse of um, the inverse of fifty by. Which is equal to 45 degrees. Or theta is 45 degrees. Okay. And this is a theta case of the fourth and the and the cell. Just a moment. Because the four and the first will be 
this is the theta the angle between the shear primary shear force this one and the secondary shear force so we found out it's theta we find out the value of r the value of k and the value of theta next we will be finding the value of uh, resultant shear force see in here we have to see that whichever heavy is far away from the center of gravity will be highest amount of uh, resultant shear force since these are all the same distance from center of gravity so all the values will be same for fr okay uh, first of that uh, after finding the value of w r and f and theta we'll find out the secondary shear force which actually find out finding out about to find out after the primary forces is fs1 is equal to fs4 is equal to what is that uh, it's k into you take any r it's nothing but 62.5 into 7 into 7 1 and it becomes nothing but 4 4 1 3 8 into so I found out the secondary shear force next as a resultant resultant So it's nothing but FR1 is equal to rho B to that's PY4 whole square FS1 plus 2 into PY4 FS1 plus square into it's into cos theta cos theta angle between the two forces shear value and separation forces. So that's what the values. It's one, two, five, zero plus it's four, four, one, nine, three. Okay. Two, two. Uh, one to five zero. Into four, four, one, nine, three, eight. It's nothing but this value is in separation force, right? Into cos of 45. Okay, so FR1, FR1 is equal to 5376.42. So I find out the resultant uh, shear force. Next, we'll be finding into very using the shear stress condition to find out the value of the diameter variance which is actually the end. Let's go to the new page. Okay. Our top MIL will be equality SYT by factor of safety. It's nothing it's two two zero by Vector of safety is 2. It's 110 Newton per annum square. Next, along with it, we find the tau crush. The shear stress at crushing. It's 1 point. It's given in the quotients. More than 30% of SYD by force. That is. 3 into 2 to 0 by 2. Okay. It becomes 1, 4, 3 newton per m square. So next we can find out that find the value of t that is we consider f for 1. Since all it's just the same, so f for 1 is the biggest. We want to be the biggest, so we have taken F1 as the maximum for all this thing. Tau is what? 110. FR is 5376.425. 
5 by 4 into d squared, so you get d. It's nothing but square root of 5, 3, 2, 5 by 4, 210. Okay? So if we do the second, Yeah, we have actually what we have done is done the value is equal to we have taken 220 by 2, right? But uh, as you can see, dollar line is equal to 0.5 of SYTH by 2 because dollar line is equal to actual strength by force and it becomes 0 0.5 of SYD by force so it will be quite not 220 by 10 it will be 220 into 0 220 into 0.5 by 2 which will be 55 newton or foot so our tau will not, sorry, our tau will not be 110 degree, tau will be 55. So let's make this correction. I hope it is clear. Uh, the actual illustration, in tension it changes and in compression it changes. So whatever be the illustration, in tension it is 0.5. Okay. So um, if we see this is I can change this thing that is into one by two to zero by this thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're considering here not hundred and ten to the fifty-five. 55. Okay. So remember this thing, this entire thing. Okay. So the, the value of D will come from 12 and so next if we see Maybe find that you can validate using sigma c that is uh, we have find 5376.422 d t d sigma c to be 5376.422 is equal to 12 into d is how much it's 8 it's given in the cushion so it will be nothing in the calculator that I'm using right now, five three seven six point four two divided by twelve into eight denominator. We have twelve into eight, right? So it will be fifty six point zero zero. Newton for an square. So this sigma c that we have found is less than one four three newton for an square. Isn't it? This thing. So we will leave that our design procedure for designing these four related things. Uh, rating system into four units is correct. Thank you. We'll uh, say something uh, regarding uh, machine design in our next video. Thank you.